I've submitted and listed 13 website templates on the Framer Marketplace. With each template, I follow my simple process that guarantees a template submission and consistently brings me sales every month. If you're new here, my name is Ramesh. I've been a product designer for over five years now. Since 2024, I've been building my Framer template business, which started out as a side hustle, but now it's turning into one of my main income streams. I get a lot of designers asking me how to create a template that converts and gets approved onto the Framer marketplace. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you my exact research and design process in creating Framer templates. Let's start with research. This is probably an area I see most creators looking to sell Framer templates completely ignore. You want to make design decisions that are evidence-based and so you need to do some research to know what works and what doesn't. When beginning my template, I spend some time exploring the web, seeing what kind of websites are in that niche or is a niche. You get my point. It's also worth spending some time researching other templates in that industry that are doing well. As I go through these sites, I create a list on my Notion planner. So here's a template I've been planning out. And as you can see, I've created a small list of inspiration sites. I find having a smaller list is more useful than a larger one because then I don't get too overwhelmed on what's out there, but do what works for you. You can see with a few of these sites, I've left some comments just stating what I liked about that site. Again, nothing extensive, but just some thoughts from mine onto paper or screen, I guess. You can also see here, I've got a list for some early ideas. Again, just some mental notes. If you like this Notion Planner, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to grab it. It is completely free. Next up is mood boarding. Before I was doing this on Figma, but recently Framer launched design pages, which is essentially like Figma, free form design canvas, and I've been using it for various things. You can see here for my own template store project, I use design pages for various things like YouTube thumbnails, blog cover images, and newsletter cover images. And I even use the feature for more things on the individual templates, which I'm going to share with you now. So back to mood boarding. I have a design page open up here and I copy and paste some visual styles onto the canvas. Again, I don't want to add too many images here, but just a few that gives me some ideas to explore. Once I've got some ideas, it's time to start exploring some concepts. Again, I don't need to use Figma. I can explore as much as I like here on Framer. Here you can see I've got a few ideas and what I can do now is do a bit more research and get some early user feedback. I can either share the link so that users can leave comments or I could take some screenshots or I can export these individual frames and send them out. Who I send them to depends on the context of the template. So since this is a course landing page, I'll ask a few course owners that I know in my network or outreach to a few that I admire. I'll also send these concepts out to a few designer friends as I value their feedback a lot. Once I'm happy with the direction, I start building out the template. During the process of creating the template, I'm naming my layers, creating components, color, and textiles. I'm doing as much as I can to make it as simple as possible for my customer to easily make changes. I have a dedicated free YouTube course which goes through my exact template creation process in depth. In the course, I cover design, the use of AI, frame and marketplace submission, and so much more. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. Next up is listing on the marketplace. This is an area where many designers ask me for help and advice. I do have a separate video for this on my course, so make sure to check it out. Whether your template gets approved or not is actually quite simple than most people think. Every time I get asked by a creator why their template gets rejected, the first thing I ask is whether they've checked their template against Framer's template requirements. I can't even count the number of times these creators have never heard of it before. It's a great resource for you to check whether your template has met the requirements for the Framer marketplace. So please make sure to go through their checklist. One other thing that's helped me get through Framer's review process is treating the reviewers as an ally, not an enemy. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. The team at Framer wants your template to be submitted onto the marketplace as it benefits them. Your template helps promoting Framer as the best website builder, so it's in their interest to have as many high quality templates onto their marketplace. So stop treating them as your sworn enemy and start treating their team as a resource to improve your templates so that it can sell better. 
Once your template is up and selling, you can take it a step further and ask your customers their thoughts on your template. If you'd like to see the workflows I've set up for after sales, such as email automations, then let me know in the comments below. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, then make sure to follow me on X, where I'm sharing my experience in running this template business, including best practices for optimal results. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.